Hi, Martin here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the best place to start if you want to learn how to code. More specifically, if you want to learn how to code using Swift, which is the language Apple uses to create apps for iPhone. So, let's get started. So, you probably know that there are a huge amount of resources out there if you wanna learn how to code. So many, in fact, that it can be a little bit overwhelming. Furthermore, a lot will assume that you know the basics, which maybe you don't. So if you're a complete newbie to coding, where should you start your journey learning Swift? Well, the best resource is an app called Swift Playgrounds. So what is Swift Playgrounds? It's a development environment where you can learn and create with the Swift programming language. So what Swift Playgrounds has is uh, programs which they call Playgrounds built into it. And these can be used for a variety of different projects, including learning Swift. So to get Swift Playgrounds, simply head to the App Store, search for Swift Playgrounds, and you'll be able to download it for free. Once downloaded and opened, you'll find a screen that looks similar to the one that I have here. The big difference is this area in the middle that you have will be blank, and you'll just see these playgrounds down the bottom. So getting playgrounds is the first piece of the puzzle on starting your journey learning Swift. Once we've got Swift playgrounds, we need to actually download a playground. And the one that we're gonna use is the built-in coding course called Learn to Code One. So what you'll need to do is click on see all down here in the bottom right. So that was the see all button in the bottom right. Usually it will be located in this top bar. So if we scroll over, you will see learn to code one. Hit git, and then you'll see it be automatically added to your playgrounds. So once downloaded, simply double click to open up Learn to Code 1. Now, you can see, so over here in the top left, we have this icon, which will essentially allow you to navigate between the various tasks and activities. But what it shows you is that it is broken down into the core programming concepts. So it will teach you commands and then give you some challenges based on commands. It will teach you functions and then give challenges the same for loops, conditional code, logical operators, while loops, and algorithms. So not only are you learning Swift, but you're also learning these core coding concepts that can be used in any language. So firstly, you'll find at the beginning of each section is you have almost like some PowerPoint slides that will describe the core coding concept that you're gonna be focusing on in this section. Once we've gone all the way through these slides, and I do suggest taking the time and reading them, you can click on Start Coding. So let's just briefly break down the interface here of Learn to Code. So in the top left is where you'll have an explanation. So this will usually give you a bit of context on the uh, concept or skill that it wants you to learn and use, and then you'll get some step-by-step -step instructions on what they would like you to do for this activity. Um, on the bottom left, this is where you're going to type out your code, and then over here on the right is our puzzle world. So this is where you'll see your code come to life and see Byte, our character here, move around various puzzles based on the coding commands you've given him over here. There is a run button at the bottom, there's also a hint, which sometimes can be very useful. You also have this speedometer icon, which will allow you to run your code either faster or slower. So once we are have this screen open, over here on the puzzle world, we can click and hold and then move our mouse around to have a look. But if we look at our instructions over here, we can say, look for the gem in the puzzle world. So we can see we've got a gem here. Enter the correct combination of move forward and collect gem commands, and then press, press run my code. 
When I click in the area to add my code, you'll see that I can start to type my code out or I can actually click on the commands down the bottom. So I want to be able to move forward and then collect the gem. So following the third instruction, I'm going to press run my code and hopefully see that I've completed that challenge. So I've now had a message saying, great, well done. And you can go to next page and it will take you to the next challenge. Now, this may seem quite basic, particularly at the beginning, but it is a fantastic course that introduces you to the core concepts of coding, the swift syntax, which is how the language is put together, things like the spelling, the grammar, where brackets go, all those sorts of things. Um, so once you've worked your way through the course, you'll have a really good understanding of the Swift language. Once you've completed Learn to Code 1, you can go on and do Learn to Code 2, which will introduce a few more coding concepts. From there, you'll be ready to take all that coding that you've learned and apply it to start making some basic apps. Um, there are playgrounds that have now been included where you can start to create apps as well. I'll also link some videos below that are where I go through step by step on creating your first app, app within Swift Playgrounds. So that's it. This is how you can get started learning Swift coding. I have a number of Swift videos on my channel, so please check them out. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and comment below. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.